Oh, you're going to get a smack, little one. And that's also not the best place to try and go and tackle the carcass. Uh, you're big and fierce, but not quite big and fierce enough just yet. Oh, wow, how's that for an image? Maybe not. Actually, playing's a bit more fun than trying to break through thick buffalo skin. Especially when you've got one mom and two aunties lactating to provide a little bit of extra food. Now just to let you know, when this situation changes, if the lions come a bit closer to us, oh, my goodness, so noisy. If the situation changes, then we will be attempting to record a VR clip. Oh. <laughs> However, at the moment we can't push any closer. The male gave us a tail thrashing look as we came in, obviously because he's still feeling very possessive over a carcass that he played absolutely no role in taking down. Uh, when the, if the lions do come a bit closer, then we'll be able to do a VR recording, and then we will stop sort of answering questions or anything like that, and we'll put that on record. And I promise you, it'll definitely be entirely worth your while. And David in Napa, <clears throat> while we watch the females finally get to feed a little bit on a, on a buffalo that they killed entirely by themselves, David wants to know when lionesses do go in for a kill, is there a role that each one specifically adopts um, in terms of positioning? Maybe one is always on top of the animal, one is designated to the throat hold and so on. Well, David, there's a, a lot of research, and it's really appropriate that we're talking about this while we're looking at the amber-eyed lioness, because she very often takes the sort of front role in the hunting that they do, as well as the young lioness, the youngest lioness of the group. And David, there's a lot of research being done into the way that lionesses coordinate the attacks. Almost invariably, what I've seen with the Inkahumas is one or two lionesses shoot off in pursuit of the prey, the others seem to hang back and just wait until the prey decides which direction it's going to go in, which is exactly what happened yesterday. Yes, that's really nice, mister. And that is male lions for one. They are, play a big role in defending territory and keeping the lionesses and their cubs safe from incoming males, although bearing in mind, of course, when they came in, they killed two, two, three, four of the Inkahumas, apparently. Two of them were before my time, and were, resulted in Junior being removed. So they basically reduced the Inkahumas from ten at the start of last year to five now. But now they play a very important role in protecting their cubs, but despite the fact that he has been feeding on a bu on an elephant for the last few days. He won't let the lionesses feed. He wants his lion share first, and he's got an extra at least, I'd say for him, Birmingham boys are not big, but he's got at least 100 kilograms on these lionesses, so 220-odd pounds heavier. Oh, and it's just so... It's one of those things that we as human beings watch, and it seems so blatantly unfair, since the lionesses played an enormous role in taking, well they did, they took this buffalo down on their own, the males just turned up at the end 